Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. And today I'm here with the Goodwill Outlet Haul. You can't see all the bags right now, but maybe you saw them in the thumbnail. I have four bags full of goodies. Um, one Ikea bag, two like Marshall size bags, and then one smaller bag. So quite a bit. This was a $56 haul, I believe. So I think that was like a little over 30, 40 pounds. It was a good day at the bins. I was there from like 10.30 to one o'clock. And the only reason I left is because I was starving. And as I was walking out the door, I got like extreme FOMO because they were doing another rotation. And it's just hard to leave when they're bringing out new stuff. If you're a bin shopper, I'm sure you can relate. But uh, I think it was a good day. So I'll show you everything I got. And if you're interested in seeing what I got from the bins, stay tuned. All right, before I go on with my video, I just wanted to give a shout out to another Poshmark seller. So I bought this shirt on Poshmark from a lady named Karen. So I'll link her closet down below. I bought this shirt and then I bought a mug, like an anthropology mug, and she gave me like a super good deal. The mug was a gift from my sister-in-law and then the shirt. I don't know, it was just really fun to open up her card and then realize that she watched my channel. So I wanted to say, hey Karen, I'm gonna link her channel, her closet down below if you wanna shop her fine. She has lots of cute, bright, colorful things, which I love. So anyway, I told her to give her a shout out when I wear this shirt. So I love this shirt. It's finally cold enough for me to wear it today. It's like mid 60s, 70s outside, which is cold for Florida. So I'm happy. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the haul. Okay, so right off the bat, I have something I don't know much about at all. <laughs> it's this um, shirt. And I'm pretty sure this is the Miami Heat logo. I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Living in Florida, I can usually recognize at least like the Florida sport logos. Anyway, this seemed to be older. I, I'm not sure exactly how old, but um, it is made in the USA. No, it's made in El Salvador of USA fabric. I don't know. I'm going to look it up more, but I did do a quick Google lens search and it looked like it was like about a $20 shirt. So nothing super amazing. Um, also, if my voice sounds a little weird, I am a little congested still. I'm getting over a cold. I'm like 98% better, but I still have some drainage. So I'm sorry if I sound a little funny. <laughs> okay, next is this Victoria's Secret dress. It's like a little sweater dress with like these metallic threads in it. And it's like a stretchy look to it. And it has like this little skater skirt on it, which I thought was really cute. It's probably an older style, but if I can get like 25 bucks for that, I would be thrilled. Okay, I did not look these up because... I found these right before I was leaving and I was getting kind of hangry, but um, if you're ever at the bins and you come across like one of these fabric kits, see it's just a piece of fabric, but you actually end up sewing something out of these little guys, like you make like a little stuffed plush thing. And some of these can be worth a little more. Um, I've sold like a quilt kit before that was like Winnie the Pooh themed for I think $50 on eBay. So I don't know, these ones probably will not be worth that much, but probably around maybe $10, $15. Um, and it's very lightweight, so I got them. And then this is supplies to make an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> so there's like a couple different designs that you can follow. So yeah, that's what this is. They're like Christmas appliques. I haven't looked it up yet. I'm hoping like 10 or $15, that is what I'm hoping for. Okay, let's just start with the bang. So this is something really good, but it's flawed. <laughs> So I found a St. John collection blazer. I'm gonna peel off the dry cleaning tag, but here's what it looks like. St. John is definitely a brand you wanna look out for. Not St. John's Bay, St. John's collection, which I'm sure most of you have heard of it already before, but it's this really cute zip front blazer. It's like a tweed-like fabric, but there was a little discoloration. Yeah, it's harder to see in this light, but like there's a little discoloration right there. And I'm hoping it'll come out but even if not, I still think I could sell it for a good amount. But if I can get that out, that would be fantastic. So I, I might even pay to get this dry clean if I look up comps and they look good. But the lady I was shopping with pulled out her Poshmark closet while I was with her. And she's like, I sold one similar to that for $200. And she showed me this old comp and it was very similar to this one. I was like, holy cow. So I don't know if I can get the stain out of it. I would be happy to get like 150. But um, once again, there's a stain which that devalues it, especially it being right on the front like that. So I don't know, as is maybe 50 bucks. We'll see. 
<laughs> all right this is just a cute little romper with the bell sleeve the brand is hollister i'm either going to take this to plato's clothes mentor and if they reject it i'll sell it myself for 15 bucks if i take it to clothes mentor or whatever i'll probably get like three or four for it but i won't have to do any work <laughs> All right, this is just a Simply Southern shirt. It says she believes she could, so she did, or something like that. And it has like a sparkle sleeve, not a high selling ticket item. This is only a youth large too, so it'll probably only go for like 10 bucks, but they're cute and they're sought after. This is just a Nike dry fit top and it has like the little pocket in the back and like some mesh detailing. I just thought it was a good style and it's a size large, maybe $15 on that. This I got because it's extremely soft. <laughs> and if you know anything about me, you know I like soft things. This is a Lewin Gray top. And it's like that cropped fit. Kind of like that. I don't even know what you'd call this style of top. But really cute plaid. Crisscross front top. I really liked it. Okay, I don't know what this brand is. But it looked cool. <laughs> so the brand is called Amazing Fill Shop. And I looked it up. And there was one sold on Poshmark for $30 and it said like fan merch. So maybe this is like somebody's merch from, I don't know, like if it's a YouTube channel or like a celebrity. If you know, let me know. But I just thought this was so cute. It has like a plant on it and then a bunch of leaves and like some geometric designs. It needs to be washed because it looks like it might have like fallen on the floor at the bins. There's like a few little discolored spots. But other than that, it looks like in good condition. And if I can get $30 for it too, I'd be happy. Okay, next is this American Eagle Outfitters extra large romper. Yeah, romper, right? It's a full length jumpsuit, I guess you'd call it because it's full length. But yeah, it just took a really pretty print and I don't know, maybe 20 bucks for that. I just thought it was really cute. So I grabbed it. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret bra. It's a very nice quality one. It's the Dream Angels multi-way, multi-position 34D bra. This looks like something someone could wear for their wedding. Like it's very pretty. So yeah, it's missing the straps, but I think that's fine. Um, if you have a couple of those types of bras, you can usually switch them out. I'm hoping I can get like at least $25, $30 for that one because it's a nicer style. This is the cutest shorts I've ever seen by Anthropology. It's that brand Saturday, Sunday. And um, yeah, I just liked the... The feel of the fabric has pockets, drawstring, really cute. It looks like a more recent style, maybe 25, 30 on those. Okay, next is this Under Armour sports bra. I just liked all the ruching detailing. I thought that was really cute. An Athleta bra. I don't know, I'll probably get like 15 for that. The Athleta bra, I don't know, maybe 20. We'll see, I haven't looked this one up yet, but I mean, it was just like a really cute design. Pretty lightweight for the bin, so of course I grabbed it. These are a pair of Athleta shorts. I don't know if they would be like swim shorts or athletic shorts, but they just have like this little drawstring detailing on the side. I thought they were kind of cute. Maybe 20 on those, who knows. I'll probably take these to Plato's Closet for a quick like five bucks, three bucks. Um, they're just some John Galt pants. They're supposedly one size fits all, but they look like an extra small to me. <laughs> Next is this harry potter top i don't really even know what that crest is for um but you know the potter people do i think it's like all the four houses in harry potter but maybe 10 15 bucks on that i could take it to plato's or i could sell it myself this is a pair of adidas shorts i think they're a size small no they're medium and they're just like the climalite shorts they're the kind that have like the little shorts underneath them. Maybe $20 on those. This is a new with tags Banana Republic blazer. I think I might send this into thread up because it's like career wear. Um, it retailed for $149. So I'm going to leave that tag on there. So hopefully I can maybe get half that. That would be great. Um, that's being very ambitious. If I make $15 on that, I would be happy. All right, next are these overalls. Um, the brand is just Wild Fable, which is Target, but I will sell these myself because I just really like selling overalls. I feel like they always move really fast for me for like $15, $20, but yeah, just basic overalls with some distressing in the knee. I, I just like selling overalls. Okay, I have some hard goods, like 
interspersed throughout this bag because I didn't want them to break when I was bringing them out to my car. Um, so the whole bag of hard goods I got was only $5. And I think that's the trick to buying hard goods at the bins. I, last time I went, they really upcharged me for the hard goods. And I think what I did is I had it all in Ikea bag and it looked really big. Like it looked like a lot of stuff. So she charged me $12 for everything, which is still reasonable. But this time what I did is I shoved all the hard goods into this little Lily Pulitzer bag. Um, not super little, but smaller Lily Pulitzer bag. And she only charged me $5 for all of them. And then after I checked out, I kind of dispersed the fragile hard goods into a couple different bags so they wouldn't break. But that's how I got the best price. So tip for you if your bins is like mine and they just kind of look at hard goods and they give you a flat price. Most bins weigh the hard goods though, so that wouldn't really help for most bins locations. Okay, I got these probably for myself. They're just like those little, I don't know, they look like the ones from Target, like the Hearth and Home brand, little houses for Christmas decor. And there's a bunch of them here. I know this is so last year. I mean, <laughs> I think this was kind of like the farmhouse vibe of a couple years ago, but I still like them. <laughs> and I bought these from the bins. Um, they were, you know, so I, I don't know. I'll see if I can find a place for them. Or I think I would put them, you know, next year for decor. And if I decide I don't want them, I'll sell them because they, you know, they're worth something. I saw some sold comps on Poshmark where someone had just sold two of these houses. Look, it still has the lights in it. Oh, how cute. Someone had just sold two of these houses for $20. Now she had good stock photos or not stock photos. She had good photos and a really good description. So I think that helped her, but I just think they're so cute. So yeah, if I don't keep them myself, I'll sell them and try to get 20 bucks for them, but we'll see. All right, next is this <laughs> Disney Parks mug. It's Minnie Mouse and I just thought it was cute. Um, this will probably go for $15, 10, 15. Next is this mug. It's a Harry Potter mug. It looks like a little cauldron. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So I think it's a mug, but I saw some other people that had this listed as a planter. So it does say microwavable and dishwasher safe though. And I don't know why they put that on a planter. So I'm assuming it's a mug, but you could also use it as a planter. Just super cute. I think maybe around 10, 15 bucks on that too. Let me just show you the rest of the hard goods I got while I'm at it. Um, I got this Ariel mug and it says, once I wake up, I'll be part of that world, <laughs> which is so cute. And it's a Disney parks mug as well. Um, this one seemed more valuable. Like when I did a quick Google image scan of it, this one seemed to be listed around like $25, $30 but I still need to do more research into it. But some Disney mugs can be worth some really good money. Um, here's another mug. This one will probably go for around 15. It's just a Goofy mug. And it has like little sketches of Goofy all around it, which is just so fun. These are the things you find when you live in Orlando. The brand on this is actually Jerry Lee, but it says Orlando, Florida on it, Disney. So yeah, probably from like downtown Disney somewhere. Okay, I don't really know much about this at all. The brand is Cotton, C-O-T-O-N Colors. Um, anyway, there is the logo, but it's like a plate. <laughs> it says happy everything. And then it has like this little Velcro thing where you can like change out this piece here. And what I think this is, is you put it on like a plate stand and it's, it's for decorative use, not necessarily something you eat off of. And then you can change these out for like Christmas theme, like New Year's, whatever the what you're celebrating is but this is an official licensed gators thing so yeah um this plate was on amazon for like 50 dollars. i saw another one listed for 30. i don't know i'm gonna have to look into this more that was just like the quick comps that i found and i'm like honestly if this is worth 15 dollars, i'll get it but it looked like it was something good it looks very like boutique brand-esque. I put a dress in here, a lot, like around the cups and mugs so they wouldn't break. <laughs> okay, next is, whoops, yikes. Next is this, it's a Michelle McCarthy pot. I did look up her stuff, her pottery on eBay and a lot of it was selling around 20 to $30. I just thought this was cute. I liked the little turtles, so yeah. If I can get 15 for it, I'd be happy. All right, this is Beyond the Mirror, um, which I think is like a spinoff of Alice in Wonderland. 
but just a really cute mug. It's got like the Cheshire cat on it and Alice and yeah, it's a cute mug. Maybe $15 on that as well. I got three mugs that are similar. I will probably just sell them different separately though, but they look like pottery that was made like handmade by someone. There's a pottery stamp on the bottom, but I can't really read it. Um, but like, just like this speckled looking pottery, I just thought it was so pretty. Um, and this one looks very similar to that other one, but slightly different. It has like a little bit of a, like a lip here that the other one didn't have. And then this one's just slightly different as well. Well, maybe more different, but it's like a, a squattier fatter mug. But yeah, that same color blue that I just thought was so pretty. So I don't really know what those will go for. Maybe 15 bucks a piece. That just seems to be the price that I'm listing a lot of these hard goods at. Another little house. Let's see if this one works. Some of the batteries work in some and some of the batteries don't work. Ah, it works. Okay, next is this little piggy bank, which honestly isn't worth like a ton. This is oh, like... They're probably listed around $10 on eBay and some of it's sold for less, but there's money in here. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. Um, plus I, I know how hard goods work at my bins and if you stack them together, you get a good deal. So I have a couple Canadian coins here. I have uh, a hay penny from 1944. So I don't know, maybe that's worth something. And it says 1944 on the other side. This is a half dollar, which is from 2011. So there's a half dollar <laughs> and a couple more Canadian coins. So that's cool. This probably just, you know, paid for itself. <laughs> but I just put the little sealer back on the bottom, took the money out and we'll, we'll see what we can get for that. Put my money over here i'm rich now and then i got this possibly for me this matches my kitchen colors i really like the pioneer woman um i just love brightly colored fun like farmhousey looking stuff and this says utensils on it and it's just so cute i mean can you tell it's kind of like a color theme going on here like i just like blue red and turquoise and retro looking things so anyway this was marked for $2 from wherever else it was, but I think I saw these on eBay for around $20 to $25. I'm probably gonna keep it, but if for some reason I decide it doesn't go well in my kitchen, I'll take the $25, so good trade off. So those were all the hard good items I got. I had a lot more when I first, like they brought out the bins, but I, I really filtered it down to just these things because I just, yeah, I wanted to make sure I had more desirable stuff and not just things that I thought were cute. Cause I had like a bunch of like teacups, but um, selling unique one-off teacups is hard if you don't have like the matching saucer. So yeah. Okay, so I may take this in a clothes mentor, but it's just like a, a new day, which is from Target, brand new um, maxi dress in a size large. And it's like this pretty striped print or I could sell it for like 15 bucks on Poshmark. I have this top. It's just Lucky Brand. Once again, probably for clothes mentor um, or $15 to $20 on Poshmark. I got this really cute top. It's We The Free. It's a size extra small and has like that cute cutout detailing. It's like a burnout style fabric, which just means it's like that. See how it looks like it's really worn out? That's what you call it, burnout. This sweater is amazing. I, I may keep this. It's just an LL Bean sweater and it's a size extra small and it is like the best cable knit cardigan ever. Like it's just so cute. <laughs> um, or I'll sell it for, I don't know, 30 bucks because it's just a really good style. Okay, next is this Aster the Label dress, which I think is from revolve or aritzia or something anyway really cute style it's like a crisscross it's got a little bit of puff in the sleeve it's like a mini length really cute dress i don't really know how much that's worth i'm gonna guess around 30. um this is a zara knitwear kids sweater which normally i don't pick up kids clothes but this was just too precious to pass up i could take it in a once upon a child or i could sell it for like 10 bucks okay this is a really pretty scarf by Chico's. It's silk rayon blend and it has like this velvety like 
burnout fabric. Anyway, I just thought it was a cute scarf, you know, just really festive. So 15 bucks on that maybe. Okay, next is this smart wool bra. Um, I've never found the smart wool bra before, but when I saw that logo, I knew I was like, oh, that's smart wool. And then here's the inside logo. If you ever see this brand, it's usually worth picking up. I sold a pair of smart wool socks for like $25. They were like new in the package, but like, that's crazy for socks. I don't really know how much this is worth. I just got it because it's smart wool and it cost me like, I don't know, a quarter. <laughs> okay, this is a Victoria's Secret bra. It is the full coverage Victoria's Secret Angels bra, maybe $20 on that. I picked these up based on style, not brand. They are Shein which isn't really a great brand, but the style was just so cute. And sometimes if Shein has good styles, they're worth picking up. And one of my friends at the bins was telling me today, like they have really good stock photos, so they're easy to list. And I'm like, that's a good point. Okay, next is this for me. It's just DB Moon. I don't know, a little dress. It's green, it has pockets. It might even be children's size because it says size large, but that definitely looks small unless it is large and I just want to wear it oversized. I don't know. It's cute and I'll wear it a few times and then maybe sell it. Okay. This is BDG. It's a cute little like cropped style linen feeling striped top. I'll probably take that to Play-Dohs. This is a vintage Christmas cardigan. I thought this was really fun. Here is the, it's Cabin Creek made in the USA looks vintage to me but the sweater is in like perfect condition and yeah i couldn't pass it up i know it's like not really the best time of year to be buying christmas sweaters in january but i don't mind holding on to it and it might even sell sooner rather than later we'll see if it waits till next year it's fine it can be sit in my closet and i can relist it a few times okay this is billa billa maybe it's an old billabong one i don't know does that look like Billabong? It definitely doesn't look like their current logo. Anyway, it's a dress and it has like this really fun flowers on the front. It's like buttoned down from the waist down, but then it's just like a pullover style on top. I just thought it was a fun vintage style dress, maybe like 20 to $25 on that. Really fun print dresses like that do well for me. And this is a Moo Moo. <laughs> I love selling these Moo Moo like house dresses. This brand is I, not important. I basically grabbed it based on style and it's just really flowy and really fun print. So maybe $20 on that as well. Oh, just a few more things in this bag before we move on to the last one. Okay. This is a pair of J crew shorts. They're like a terry cloth fabric. Um, I just thought they were cute, maybe 15 bucks on that. Um, this is a new with tags, Victoria's secret, like piece of lingerie so yeah hopefully I can get like 30 bucks on that but new with tags okay this is super cute and I'm kind of tempted to keep it but I don't really need it so I'll probably sell it it's a Reebok shirt it's got like a button front it's this purple heather with like this neon pink like detailing I just thought it was really cute and maybe I can get 15 to 20 dollars on that um, this is Lucky Brand, and the reason I picked it up is because it's a 3X. I just thought, like, it's cute. It's a cute print. It's a size 3X. It's super soft fabric. If I can get $15 on that, I'd be happy. I got this skirt for me because it looks super comfortable. It's like a drawstring waist with a stretch, and it's striped, and it looks like something I would wear around the house with a t-shirt. Um, I got this to take to Play-Dohs. It's a Stranger Things shirt. And it says on the back, welcome to the upside down. Um, this is a new old stock shirt. So it still has its original tags from back in like, I don't know, probably the eighties. <laughs> it's like this festive looking like 4th of July themed bandana button front top. And it has little metal buttons. And then it's got this really cute, like tie detailing in the back and shoulder pads. I just thought it was cute. Maybe $25 on that. This is a brand that I actually like sending into ThreadUp. It's Tahari and 100% linen. 
and new with tags but I might just sell these myself because I think it's a really cute style I don't always love selling Tahari but because these are 100% linen striped wide leg pants I might be able to sell them myself um Tahari blazers I'll normally send those in as red up because I have a very hard time selling those in my Poshmark closet this is a Chico's dress it's a Chico's size 2 maxi dress just really bright fun colors it has like a tiny bit of wash wear in the top part but it's still very vibrant in the bottom which is funny maybe 25 bucks on that this is something to send into thread up it's some calvin klein modern fit dress pants but honestly if i look these up and they look like something i could sell on my own i'll list them i like selling dress pants that have like a style name like that like the modern fit because then they're easier for people to find and know whether or not they'll fit them because if you find a pair of work pants you like a lot of people like to buy them in every color this is something i'll take into play-dohs or clothes mentor it's a lauren conrad top really cute little daisy print very flouncy with a keyhole tied back another thing to take into play-dohs it's just a j crew slim washed top it's plain but it is new with tags this i could take into play-dohs or sell myself um, i'll probably sell it myself just because i'm in florida and i don't know if this is something Plato's in my area would want to buy it's an Ohio State um, shirt and it's like the pink university brand which usually does pretty well for me maybe I can get $20 for that this dress is adorable kind of want to try it on but I don't I don't know it's a little short so I might not end up wearing it very much but anyway it's an um G dress and it has like this really pretty like almost lace crochet detail at the top and then some embroidery really cute little mini dress maybe 25 bucks for that victoria's secret bikini this one is a size small i think yep maybe 15 dollars on that this is a really cute top the brand is nicola which i think is like an, a 90s brand but i just thought this print was so fun and it's like a popover blouse maybe 15 to 20 dollars on that this is an owl print top i just thought it was cute it's a popover style as well it's from gap it's the fitted boyfriend shirt <laughs> i didn't look that up either maybe 15 dollars on that or i could take it in the clothes mentor this top i'm not sure if this is vintage or modern but i just thought it was darling it's like a little sweater top with this um like embroidery on the front there is like one small stain in the back but that's not a big deal it says sample not to be sold <laughs> um guess what i'm gonna sell it <laughs> but um yeah i just thought this was a cute little sweater it kind of reminds me of the brand simple sim simple retro or simply retro i get ads for that brand a lot on facebook i think they're on to me they know that i like that vintagey style and this looks like one of their tops this is we the free it's a free people like really flowy i don't know button front top with like these flowy sleeves i just thought this was really cute it's kind of getting washed out in the camera but it's like a cream color maybe 25 dollars on that this i got possibly for me possibly to sell it's a lucky brand um, jacket it kind of has a faded look to it but I think the fabric is supposed to be that way it's like a um, waterfall front with this grayish charcoaly black back it just looks comfy something you'd wear around the house if I don't keep it I could probably get 20 bucks for it 15 20 dollars this is press box apparel I looked up this one for comps and comps were everywhere but it's new with tag so I figured I'd give it a shot and hope to get around 20 dollars for it a doily i like to bundle these together and sell them for like 10 15 dollars this is one of those one size fits all like throw it over your outfit um tunic type things with um fringe on the bottom it's from american eagle no price tag but maybe 15 bucks on that or i could take it into play-dohs and then two more things in here and we're done victoria's secret bikini i've already sold this one before probably around 10 bucks on that and then this bag that has no tags but i just thought it was really cute it's like a little um hobo style bag and it looks brand new i think okay so there's this little adjustable strap does anyone know what that's for to me this almost looks like it could be a camera bag and you could use that to like hold your tripod because my camera bag has something like this but i don't really know um is it a diaper bag i don't know 
but it's got some cute pockets in it. It's just really adorable and there's no tags on it, but maybe I could get like $20 for it just based as is with no tags. It's really pretty. So that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the random stuff I bought from the bins. <laughs> Let me know um, what your favorite item was that I found if you want to. Um, anyway, I hope you're doing well this new year and that you have been able to, you know, get the ball rolling on your business and help your business grow this year. I really hope to grow my reselling business this year. So if you want to come along for the ride, make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell notification so you'll know when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.